After tearing a path through the Florida panhandle tonight, Hurricane Michael is taking aim at Alabama and Georgia. The storm has already claimed at least one life. The victim killed by a falling tree branch. CBS's Hillary Lane reports. We're getting our first look at the devastation left behind by Hurricane Michael. The roof and walls of this Panama City school were torn off by the force of its 155 mile an hour winds. It's one of countless buildings that sustained major damage. The storm was just shy of category five strength when it made landfall in the Panhandle Wednesday afternoon. Hurricane Michael is the worst storm that the Florida Panhandle has ever seen. It was also the third most powerful hurricane ever to hit the U.S. mainland after Camille and Andrew. It was, it was terrifying, honestly. Uh, it was a, a lot of noise. I mean, uh, we thought the, the windows were going to break um, at any, any time. Michael's storm surge brought up to 14 feet of water onto the shores of the Panhandle. It was also expected to drench the region with as much as a foot of rain. As night fell, the hurricane was moving northeast at about 16 miles per hour towards Alabama and Georgia. Those states, along with the Carolinas and Virginia, are now bracing for downpours that could produce flash flooding. One early estimate put the initial cost of the storm damage at over $10 billion. Hillary Lane, CBS News, Panama City Beach. Now, in Florida alone, hundreds of thousands of homes and businesses are without power. Some 19,000 utility workers from at least 18 different states were standing by to get the lights back on.